Hello everybody and welcome to this video and now I'm gonna actually do my Friday reads for fuck's sake for fuck's sake okay so as you saw in my um, who gets your books when you die video um, I'm gonna be reading the rainbow stories of William T. Volman little bit of a chunker here um, but he writes very light and sparse so it shouldn't actually be that bad I'm kind of hoping that a lot of this book is margins and line breaks. And from just looking right now, it's not. So I'm kind of fucked. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. So um, I was going through um, my bookcase, too. Because I have a stack of books here that I want to read in October. But it's not October yet. So I'm trying to give myself something light to be able to get through this weekend and this week. Um, and yeah, I should actually start like this. Cause I keep going through skull juices by Doug Blazik, which is like my favorite poetry collection ever. Um, and I need to be recording more videos of me reading the poems out of here for my, um, members thing. I kind of stopped that for a hot minute. But um, it got me thinking about another one of Blazik's books that I had that is before he started rewriting all of his stuff in the 80s. And that is called um, Flux and Reflux. I don't know if this had a um, dust jacket at one point, but it doesn't now. So it's kind of just like a boring looking book. Flux and Reflux. I read this probably two or three years ago. And I was really, really bummed out by it. Because Skull Juices was so fucking good. That like, um, this wasn't as good. But I'm thinking, like, did I not like this because it wasn't as good as Skull Juices? Or did I not like this because this wasn't very good? And I, I, can't, I, I can't figure that out. So I'm going to dive into this and try to make some fucking sense out of that. Um, another one of my favorite poetry collections is um, Al Purdy's Poems for All the Annettes. Um, and this book if I remember correctly, there are a few beautiful, amazing poems in here. And then the rest of the stuff just did not connect with me at all. Because I'm sure everything in here is good. There's just certain things that I really liked. I wanted to go through this because there is one poem in here that I really wanted to uh, read for something coming up. And... Um, so I wanted to kind of just go through this whole thing again. It's a really good collection. Um, and then finally, um, I wasn't going to read this one. I was actually going to read one that I've read before that I really like. But um, one of my favorite, like, modern poets who are not dead is um, Holly Day. And I have a few of her books... Book of Beasts is probably my favorite of the ones that I have. I do think, and this is funny. So, Holly Day, if you see this video, can you please reach out to me? We, we've talked about this before. But the poetry that she had submitted to me over the years that I put in different things, I think is her best stuff. And... I really, really want to put a collection of her stuff out. But this book here, um, in this place, she is her own. It's really weird because it's a kind of large book, but the print is so small. Like, I just, I don't understand the formatting of this. And I don't know if this is, like, what this press does what what press is this a vegal vegal press this is from 2018 
published in the United States by Vegetarian Alcoholic Press. Oh, that's a pretty solid name. But yeah, so this uh, has 73 poems in it. But it's just... I, I just don't understand the formatting of it. So from a formatting standpoint, I, I'm not running to read through this book and that's why I haven't done it because I got this like a year ago at least um, but Book of Beasts oh, what is the other one so Into the Cracks is another book of hers and this came out in 2019 and this is put out by Golden Antelope Press this is a solid collection too and again, Book of Beasts, it's amazing. And this was put out by Weasel Press in, um, in 2020. Yeah, dude, her stuff was just getting better and better. Fuck. Good lord. So, yeah. Um, I gotta hit her up. But anyway, so I'm gonna give this a go and just, like, swallow the fact that I don't like the formatting and, um kind of just get on with it. The artwork is pretty cool, like how it's done. The size is just, I don't like it. I don't like the size of that book. That's okay. So anyway, so that's what I'm reading this weekend. Um, what are you guys reading? Los Angeles, you better be reading this. This should be in your fucking goddamn Friday read stuff here. Damn it. Um... Links to the Etsy shop down below. Um, you could get my uh, ebooks and paperbacks also on Amazon. Links down below as well. And um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you could run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.